Hey guys, it's Jill. Hope you're all having an awesome day. Today is going to be a humongous, humongo, ginormous Shein haul. I think I have like 15, 16 things here, so go ahead and get you a snack, girl, and maybe some wine. And let's get to it. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell, follow me on Snapchat, Instagram. I feel like I want to tell you guys something. I hope that the lighting is okay. You guys, I got my tree. I hope that the lighting is okay. It's raining outside and gross and nasty. And usually like when, I'm, I'm just hoping that I'm not blue. If I am, I'm gonna try to figure out the lighting in here again because I haven't been liking the way that it's been looking. Also, if you have any recommendations of a really good faux or like, what are they called? Self tanner, self tanner, please leave it down in the comments down below. I want something that's not going to like, you know, look like I'm self tanned. I want it to look super natural. So if you have any suggestions, please let me know because I miss my tan, not gonna lie, and I'm not gonna go to a tanning bed. So with that, let's just go ahead, get in with this stuff. I got some like overall things. They're kind of like jumpsuit overall. I got a tube top, some dresses. So let's just get started, girl. Have some fun, have some clothes on. By the way, too, Sorry about this, but this whole haul is basically black, gray, and wine. Those are the only colors that are in this haul. And this is a beautiful dress that I'm just going to try on. Wanted to also say before I try this on, Shein has really great quality. I've only shopped from them once before, but everything I've gotten from there is just exceptional. And it's for like the low because... Uh, like I said, I got like 14, 15, 16 pieces here, and I spent like less than 200 bucks. You can't beat that, right? Am I right? I'm going to have to check that if it's wrong, because I'm sitting here like, damn, I didn't even buy that much at Walmart, I don't think, for less than 200. <clears throat> Maybe they had a good sale. I want to say I shopped Cyber Monday. This, I mean, this is the box, y'all. Like, this is the box. It's huge. There's so much stuff in here. It's insane. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and stop talking and try this on. Okay, so this one's a little interesting. Definitely not my favorite. It's got super puffy sleeves, which I actually kind of like. I think that they would get on my nerves wearing it. It is off the shoulder, and it's not going to stay off. I mean, it's not going to stay fully off the shoulder, but that's where it's gonna stay. What I'm not liking about this is the fact that it's long and I just, I don't think a dress like this looks good long. I don't know. Does it have a slit in the back? I don't think that it does. It is stretchy by the way, but this is just definitely not me. I wanna say if you're taller and it would hit about right here can we finagle no we can't finagle it to go it doesn't look a hundred percent ridiculous when you kind of pull it up and then blouse it over like that but it kind of does i don't know i feel like it would have been much better had it hit here versus where it hits because it's almost to my ankles not a fan of this one not a fan but i do like the sleeves but I can already tell for sure they would get, let me see if it has stretch. Not a whole lot. I definitely know that these sleeves would get on my nerves. So on to the next. Okay, so I'm just trying this on over my bra. This is interesting. It's really cute. By the way, that last dress was a 3X and this also is a 3X. And y'all, like, first of all, these, legs are ginormous. They are very, very, very wide leg. <laughs> like a very wide leg. And then they're incredibly long too. They hit me in a really bad spot in the crotch. So that just doesn't look cute at all. And I can't get the back zipped up. It's not because it doesn't fit. It's because the zipper is like really flimsy so my son and I just tried he was like holding it together while I was trying to zip and I was like I don't want to break the zipper so I'm just gonna leave it at that but how cute I personally like the top way more than I like the bottom you have these little straps right here 
that actually untie. They're not tied for you, so you can tie them as tight as you need them to. And I feel like I would definitely need to tie them tighter because the way that I have them tied, they would definitely fall off throughout the day. But this is really, really cute. I love the fact that it has pockets. I love the little buttons that it has in the pockets up here. And like I said, it's cute. That's how it looks in the back. And I don't mind the legs so much. I just don't like what's going on here. This is going to be the biggest size, but it's cute nonetheless. I just wish that it didn't look like that right there. But how cute is this? I don't know. This just brings me back to like being a child. I feel like I look like a little girl, like a cute little girl. Like, hey. Okay, so this top right here is a size 3X. I should have went with a 2X because it's a little big right here in the arms. It does have adjustable straps. Y'all, look how pretty this is. It has the lace, and then it goes down that way, and then it also has the lace right here. Isn't that so pretty? So it hits me about right here. Definitely should have went with a 2X with this. Like I said, even though it has adjustable straps, it's still, as you can see, big in the arms. But if I were to just wear this under like a sweater, a cardigan, a blazer, a jacket, it would work. And then this skirt is really pretty. It's got little ruffles on the bottom. It is stretchy. It is a size 2X. It has a zipper in the back, by the way. And it also has an incredibly high <laughs> slit. I was like, dang, you can kind of see a little high on that slit. But yeah, this is really cute. I love this skirt a lot. And I know you guys have been asking for office wear. And I know you guys say you want colorful office wear, not black office wear. Well, I got that red, red skirt from... I got that red skirt from Rose Gal, so that was obviously red. I'll tell you a really good person to follow. Now, she's not plus size, but she is beautiful, and she has an amazing, amazing, amazing sense of style. I will put her Instagram handle and her YouTube channel down below, so go check her out. She is phenomenal. Her fashion sense is very colorful. She is beyond gorgeous. She has the most killer body ever. And if you guys are just kind of looking for inspiration, she's a great person to go to. I want to say she shops at places that also do have plus size, so maybe you can luck out and get what she's wearing. But she is a phenomenal person to go to. I might actually look at her or to her for some inspiration to haul some office wear, colorful office wear for you guys. But this is this, all black, but y'all know me. Also, I wanted to mention that Shan sent me this pretty large, I think it's supposed to be a makeup bag, but yeah, it's padded, it's nice, and on the front it just says Shan, www.shan.com, and then on the back it says it's not just a brand, it's a way of life, so that's nice, and this will fit a lot of stuff for sure, so Super excited about that. That was a nice little, it wasn't a surprise because I added it to my cart, but it was just a nice little addition to this. Okay, this shirt, again, black, but it is a size 2X long sleeve, and it's a peplum that goes down to the side. Very long, actually. If you can see, it goes, like, to my calf, basically. And this looks good, and it looks like it's, actually supposed to be because you know you have the little ruffles on the side or on the bottom of the skirt so this actually looks really great together but I would actually prefer to wear a shirt like this with some jeans and some heels I think that would look so cute but again you can also wear it with some with a skirt and it would look amazing with a red skirt by the way and you can rock the heck out of that this is what it looks like in the back it is a little tight right here, not tight, but it has the peplum where it like kind of sucks in right here and kind of gets a little tighter and then it flares out. It fits perfect. It is stretchy, but there's not a whole lot more room in the arms. So 
that is that, my loves. Okay, so this little ensemble is a 2X. It's black and white, as you can see. And it's just a two-piece set. They did come together, crop, and then you've got a skirt that goes down to the calf. That's what it looks like in the back. My, I can never get these skirts to be high-rise and then the crop tops to be like actual crop tops in the back. <laughs> it's only crop tops in the front. But that is that. This has a little mock neck, which I'm not crazy about. I just don't like anything being right there around my neck. I kind of feel a little claustrophobic. Plus, I just really don't like the way that they look on me. I've never personally liked the way turtlenecks look on me. But yeah, it's it goes has sleeves. Not super stretchy. This is very stretchy down here. It has absolutely no zippers or anything, so you literally just pull this right on and... That is that. I have to be honest here and say I haven't really liked anything like... Okay, so this is really cute. I think I got it in a 3X. I don't really recall. I wanted to wait to put this one on so you guys could see. So this has... Okay, so it is adjustable. It has... No, it doesn't. Hold on. Yes, it does. It has two little buttonholes and then you've got a button right here so you can button it to your liking and to your needs. So let me go ahead and button the other one. How cute is this? Now I wouldn't wear it with this crop top only because I don't think it really looks that great with these little ruffles. I do still feel like I need them to be a little tighter though, but I'll just take some stitching. I'm definitely keeping this. This haw haw. I was about to say, if it had pockets, it would be everything to me. It doesn't have pockets, but they're black pants, and then they have these little gold buttons going all the way down, and then they have slits in the front. This is so cute. This is how it looks in the back. They're not incredibly wide leg, which I really, really like about that, about this. I don't like them to be like super big like the other one was. But the other one was still really cute. I like this style much, much, much better. And it hits the floor, but it's not too long because it has those slits. So if I wanted to, I could wear flat shoes with this. I could wear high heels, whatever. I would be good either way. But how cute is this? And then you have, like I said, the little buttons going up this way. And this would look good with a crop top. I would just say it would look really good with a white crop top. I would definitely wear this with a white crop top. How stinking cute would that be? And I wouldn't do a sleeved crop top. I would do a sleeveless crop top. As a matter of fact, I think that's what it is about this. So let's try it. I like this a lot. Okay, so take off the turtleneck, and yes, this to me looks amazing. This is by far, for sure, my favorite. The only thing that would have made these pants like perfection would be pockets. But other than that, I love these pants. Can I show you how they look in the back? That's how it looks in the back. No pockets or anything. This is really cute. Like, this is really, really, really cute. I don't want to take this off. Hold on. I feel like I need something else up underneath this. So let's try something else on underneath this. I'm going to take this one off. It's raining, y'all. It's raining. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. It's raining, man. Hallelujah. Wish it was raining some Shawn Mendes up in here. How about raining, man? Raining some Shawn Mendes over here. This is so cute, but it's too big. I got it in a 3X. <sighs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Please tell me you're adjustable. You're not because you crisscross. Oh. No. No. Well, darn it. How cute is this? This is like a super, super, super cute. It has, I know we're supposed to be like trying it on with this, but I've got to talk about this shirt. It is scalloped, 
It is a little lower in the back. It's crisscrossed. <sighs> Maybe I'll go get this altered. I wish I knew someone who altered. Does it cost a lot? Because I want the shirt. I just need it to be in a little bit because it actually fits perfect down here. It's just up here where it's a little big. How much does it cost? I've ne literally never in my life got anything altered except for when I was in my sister-in-law's weddings and I had to get my dresses altered. It's the only time and I didn't get it done, they did. Um, but yeah, this is so cute. So it just goes down, it's scalloped, skinny straps, scalloped over here, goes down, crisscrosses, and then comes out in a peplum. It is also a gorgeous color. This is just so beautiful. It just needs for me to be right up here. How pretty is this? Okay, I need this to be altered for sure. So I'm going to find someone. But right now I'm going to tuck it in so we can see how we like it with these pants. My battery's dying. So if I cut out and whatnot, it's because battery died. Battery died, y'all. Battery died. I feel like I need to have these altered too because the straps are a little big. But, hmm. Hold on. Yes. Now, maybe not the crisscross if it was more of a skinny strap. Y'all, I'm going to have so much fun styling these pants. I cannot wait. By the way, they're super stretchy. They do have a zipper on the side, so you do have to use that zipper, well, at least I did, to get into it. But it also has like the little eye hook on the top. And I love this jumpsuit like so much. And this, I was talking about, I don't really like anything in this haul. Well, I found it, y'all. I found something I love, love, love. This is so cute. Wait, hold on. I'm like, why is it just my back showing? Okay, that's showing. By the way, this has a zipper too, this shirt. But yes, I am feeling this so much. Like I said, these just need to be tightened a little bit. And we will be good to go. You guys, I seriously don't want to take this off. I went and I showed Ava and she was like, because oh. she's obsessed with things like this too, like overalls. And I guess you'd call these like jumpsuit overalls. I don't know. But I will say like, definitely. So I was like bending down to get my battery and these straps are just falling off me. So I definitely would have to get this altered. But I am keeping this, you guys. Like I have never fallen in love with something so much to where I'm like, that is getting altered because I just, I don't alter. <gasps> hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I found more. I found more holes. <laughs> I found a third one. Maybe we don't have to get it altered. We're going to have to get this shirt altered though. It took me forever to get that dang button on this side, but I got it. Let me see. Let me see. It's still coming off. Mm. wonder if that's just a thing you have to deal with because I feel like it's as tight as it can go <gasps> double sided tape right double sided tape right here to have them stay up I'm loving these I'm sorry I know I'm taking forever on these but I just I'm obsessed I love these so much this is so cute and this top oh I love all right let's move on to the next thing because I know you guys are probably tired of me talking about this okay this bodysuit is so cute it is a 2x and as you can see it has the cute little sweetheart neckline and it is completely mesh see-through all the way down here all the way up here all the way down here and then you have the cute little white collar it has a little button right here in the back and then it also has a zipper, as you can see. I like it. I just would have liked it without the collar. Much better, but again, I was going for things that I don't have that's kind of out of my comfort zone that I don't usually wear. These pants right here, they're really cute. They're rayon. They're size 3X. They're kind of like the paper bag style shorts. I don't like the way that they fit 
right here in the crotch and then also in my butt. If they're not really incredibly stretchy, especially like in this area right here, but I love these, I love the bottoms. You see how they just have the little ties? Yes, you can untie them and tie them yourself. So you can kind of make them a little tighter or you can make them a little looser. It's not like incredibly tight or incredibly loose because it's not like a huge kind of leeway that you have. You see what I'm saying? You don't have a whole lot. You can pull it a little tighter, but not. it's not super stretchy, like elastic and stuff. So I wanted to point that out, but this is a little bowed up here, paper bag style pants. Do have pockets in the front. That's what they look like in the back. Like I said, I'm just not crazy. And it's not entirely bothersome. It's just a little tiny snug in this area right here. So I might keep them. I don't know. I mean, I can't really. That's where I come in with the problem is when I lift my leg or... When I go to sit down, my thigh is just like, my saddlebags just kind of like pull out. But again, it's pull out, push out. So it's not like super horrible, but it's just a little tiny uncomfortable just right here. But these are, again, super cute. And I really do like this bodysuit. I'm just not sure if the little collar is me. What do you guys think? Is it me? Can I rock it? I don't know. We'll see. Oh, pfft. no, why did you tell me a bodysuit? I didn't strap the bodysuit. By the way, this is a full bottom, not a thong bodysuit. And my bodysuit was like hanging out of the back. I don't like the way that these go on my butt. I don't know. I'm not a fan. But yeah, rayon, not a huge fan of. Okay, these shorts. First of all, they are incredibly see through. I got shorts because I was like, you know, it would be real cute to pair some shorts with some tights, some opaque tights. And then maybe wear some heels or wear some knee-high boots. I think that's what I was going to do with them. I just don't know if the paper bag style short is the proper short to do that with. I don't know how it will look. These I would not do with do that with anyways because of the fact they are completely see-through. But these are a 3X, they have pockets. They do fit pretty good in the leg. Um, I feel like they could have fit a little better. And there's the back, like I said, completely see-through. I do like the, the white with the black stripes, but this is actually kind of a cute outfit. What do y'all think? actually kind of a cute outfit hmm I like it but I'm kind of unsure about what I was originally planning to do with the short I think you need more of a like some shorts that have cuffs maybe some black shorts so you can do black on black on black I think that would look really cute but I have another pair of these in burgundy so we're gonna go ahead and try those on these don't have pockets Thought I put them on backwards because I was like, they don't have pockets. I thought they were the same exact. If you hear my kids, they're they're home. It's Saturday, but um, I thought they I thought they were the same exact ones style as the last ones, but apparently they're not because these don't have pockets. But I want to say, if I did the whole opaque tight with these shorts with the knee-high boots. It might actually look good. What do you guys think? It's one of those things where I have ideas in my head and I'm like, oh yeah, I think that would look really good together. But it's not until obviously you like actually put it on and you're like, yeah, no. Or maybe in this case, oh, I try to put it in my butt. This, ooh, I actually like this together. I'm thinking that it might be a really cute outfit. Like I said, I'll just have to try it and see but even not, what do you guys think of shorts and knee-high boots? I think it's kind of cute. I think it's a real cute look. I love knee-high boots, over-the-knee boots with skirts, dresses, all that kind of stuff. I just, that's always been my favorite look. But, yeah. By the way, these are stretchier. These are a much better material than the last ones. And they 
fit my legs much, much better. That's how they look in the back. I do wish they had pockets, but other than that, these are great. A beautiful color, beautiful fabric. I love it. It's stretchy. It moves. They're not too short. I like this a lot. And actually, here in the south, our weather has been so crazy. Like one day it'll be in the 30s and the next back up in the 70s. Like today, you guys probably see me sweating. It's like in the 70s and it's rainy and humid and I'm like, will you just pick a thing, pick something? Do you want to be cold? Do you want to be hot? Like not hot, but warm and humid. What do you want to be? Are you guys dealing with that too in your side of the world? We've got two shirts to put on and then we are done. But I'm going to put some jeans on with these because these are super cute and I hope that they work because they're really cute. Okay, so this top is a 2X How. Like, I love this top. How cute is it? First of all, it's long sleeve. It's great quality. I do wish, I don't know, I think it was supposed to be like that. So I do wish that it had like something to kind of keep it up there. But it just flaps over. That looks cute too. Yeah, I like it better flapped over. So never mind. Forget what I just said. I forgot to tell you guys. Some of these, most of these clothes seem to not, uh-oh, uh-oh. I'm like, when I sit down, I might have problems with this one. But most of these clothes do not have a whole lot of extra room in the arms, I'm noticing. So you have bigger arms. You might have to size up in everything when it comes to the tops if it has sleeves. But this actually buttons, you guys, on both sides. So it's like double-breasted, I think is the word. And it is all the way down. So do 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 they're all functioning buttons. They are gold off the shoulder and then it comes into this little slit right here. So you can easily wear this with a skirt. You can tuck this in if you wanted to. You can, I mean, it looks phenomenal with these jeans. Throw on some knee high boots or some heels and you'll be looking fly girl. So fly. So I will say it's a little, I feel like I'm kind of like not able to fully move my arms because it is a little tiny bit snug on my shoulders but with that being said they do stay off the shoulder that's what it looks like in the back and this is incredibly pretty I love 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 this a lot a lot a lot by the way in case you guys are wondering these are the Aphrodite jeans from Monotiques these have to be, these are definitely my favorite high rise jean. They're super stretchy. They're so soft. They're so comfortable. These are amazing. I will link the video down below. I also love wax jeans and why is it YMI jeans? I know that they're, they're the wanna better, but okay. I really, y'all, I really need that self tanner for real. This is so cute. This is the last piece by the way. And I did count and there's 14 pieces for less than 200 bucks. I still cannot get over this. I still cannot get over it. Go shop Shane for real. So this is so cute. Do you guys see the little fringe? This is kind of like a Western vibe, but it's also, as you can see, incredibly sexy because it's all mesh. By the way, these are very stretchy arms. This was, did I say the size? I want to say it's a 3x where did the little bag go 3x so yes it is a 3x and this is so cute again throw on some heels some knee-high boots some thigh-high boots you are out the door looking fly you can put on a little leather jacket over top because as you can see it is see-through in the back if you want that to be a look totally totally can be especially with a black bra. Okay, so I'm not sure how I feel with it with this one. This one is a little, it's not snug. It just, I mean, I think it looks great on because I don't like these kind of jackets zipped up anyways. But it is an extra large. Got this from Dots years ago. Is Dots a thing? Did you guys tell me it was back again? I can't remember. I'll have to look because I'll have to haul because I used to haul them all the time. I mean, all, all, all the time. But yeah, 
Anyways, this is my this has become my favorite faux leather. It's like snakeskin looking. But hold on. Alright, I want to try this on with three different jackets. So this is a blazer from Torrid that I love. Cute, but not what I'm going for. By the way, the only complaint that I have about these jeans is that this little flap does not stay over the zipper, which is kind of annoying. I don't know why it doesn't. But that's the only complaint I have about these jeans. I mean, when you wear shirts that go over it, obviously you don't see it. But this is kind of cute. I think it's I think these are throwing it off. But I also have this that I actually didn't show you guys. I still have the tags on it and everything. I did do an outfit of the day with this though. And I believe, yeah, it's in a lookbook too. This is a 2X. This runs so small. Like, so small. Boots with the fur. Now I've got this song in my head all day. I know it's gonna be in my head all day. Much better, but like I said, just not super comfortable because this is... I don't know why I didn't send this back. I think I just was so like, oh my gosh, that is such a killer jacket that I didn't because it's just so incredibly tight in the arms. This runs incredibly small and I'm not digging it with this. I'm not. So maybe, maybe you would just have to wear this shirt just like this. I don't know. Let's try on the old trusty black leather. Faux leather, by the way. I think it's the fringe that's kind of throwing me off because it's kind of giving like so much of a Western vibe. I mean, this is cute and all. I just don't know. And I'm glad that I've tried it on with all of these jackets because it just goes to show I don't think it looks good with a jacket over it. I think in order for this, it's got to be on display. It's got to be the star. It does not need to be paired with anything else because it just looks really cute on its own. Okay, that will do it for this haul. We had some hits. We had some misses. I'm still kind of unsure about this top. I love the way that it looks. But then I'm kind of thinking that it has too much of a Western vibe for me because I'm not too into Western wear. But 14 items for under 200 bucks. You guys, seriously, go visit Shein. They're not the absolute 100% greatest quality, especially if you're gonna try to compare them to Torrid or anything like that. They're even like, I feel like, itty bitty, tiny, 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 just a smidge below Forever 21's quality. They're definitely above Rainbow's quality. But the reason why I'm saying this is because when it comes to the zippers, the zippers are just very flimsy and they're really hard to get up. So that's why I say the quality isn't like super, super, super like on point. But for the price, yes, absolutely 1000%. I have peplums in there that I bought this summer. They're still in excellent condition and excellent condition, excellent shape, whatever. And I spent like nine bucks on them. You cannot beat Shane's prices. And they also have free return shipping. So if anything you don't like, you want to return, all of that is 100% completely on them. So why not? Why not give them a try? The only thing that you're gonna have to do because it has like everything prepaid, you're just gonna have to go on the website and tell them what you wanna return. You print something out, they're gonna give you a, what's this? They're gonna give you a shipping label and you put it on the box and you send it on its way. I mean, super easy. You, I think you can even call for the UPS to come pick, not UPS, but the post office to come pick it up. But yeah, I highly recommend Cheyenne and those are my thoughts. I hope that you guys enjoyed. Love you guys so much. Have an awesome day and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.